I'm going to show you how to wirelessly screen mirror your Samsung Galaxy S6, S7, S8, all the way to S20 directly to your Element Roku TV. The first thing I must mention is in regards to uh, the connection here, okay? This connection is a direct connection directly from your Samsung Galaxy phone to your Element Roku TV. The connection has nothing to do with your home Wi-Fi network if you guys are familiar with Google Chromecast. Okay, again, this is a direct connection. And so first thing is, let me show you how to connect. Grab your Samsung Galaxy phone, and then you wanna slide down notifications. So from the top, just slide down. You see a little horizontal line right here, slide down again. And then you wanna look for Smart View. If it's not on this first page, slide over. It's not there, slide over again, okay? Anyway, mine's on the first page here, Smart View. Let me go ahead and tap on that. Smart View is basically a screen mirror. Now I'm waiting for it to find my TV, which is a 43-inch Element Roku TV, and it says mirror screen. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that, and then you get another message here. It says start casting with Smart View. Simply tap on start now, and now look at the bottom of my TV here. Give it one second, and we should get a message that pops up here, and it says Galaxy S10 Plus would like to cast video to your TV. You can go ahead and uh, click on allow. If you click on just allow, then every time... Um, you connect mirror, uh, screen mirror again, this message is gonna pop up. If you want this message not to appear, if you do a lot of screen mirroring, you can always go to always allow. Anyway, I'm just gonna to go to allow here. And now I give it one second. I'll keep my phone up here so you can see what's happening to both devices. Okay, voila, you can see that we're already in business here and this thing on the bottom here will go ahead and turn off shortly. But you can see that we are mirroring. And there, of course there is like a slight delay. You can see it's not, perfect so it's not advised to play like graphic intensive games where you need like precision so anyway this is still great for um sharing work documents uh showing photos and videos like locally or if you want to uh, browse the internet or whatnot anyway let me show you some photos and videos let me go to my photos gallery here and oh here's a quick photo here and of course let me move over and we can go ahead and zoom in and out so you can see and let me play a video here too here's a video let's press on play now take note that the uh, audio is coming out from the tv not from the phone however you can increase and decrease the volume using the volume rockers on your phone and if you want to go ahead and disconnect just slide down notifications again and then you see the horizontal line slide down again. And now before it said smart view, but now it says the name of um, your TV that's connected to. So mine right here says a uh, 43 inch element Roku TV. So disconnect, just go ahead and tap on that and give it one second. And voila, we just uh, disconnected, pretty simple.